Hey guys, and welcome back to the Hobby Dude 007 channel. Today we're going to do a kit review on Wes's Model Car Corner's new auto trailer, and we're going to be doing a comparison against the old AMT Blue Printer Service Trailer. Let's get into it. Okay, guys. To start off with, let's look at the old stuff first. Now, as far as, as I remember in trailers in for model kits, in 125th scale, MPC used to do one years ago that was a single axle trailer that had the ramps that tilted down. Uh, and I think AMT had that as well at one point. But the uh, service trailer that AMT did, there was a stock car kit, I think it was AMC Matador, that had uh, a team van, this trailer, and the Matador on it. And that's been offered several different uh, ways. But uh, this was the only trailer that we had. Now, I know there's some 24th scale die casts that are pretty respectable looking. They're a little more modern. Um, but this is good, just a, a great little kit. But let's, let's review it real quick. Uh, and I'll show you what I did with mine. Now, Tell you what, let's get the instructions out first. And, oh, there goes the decals. And speaking of which, in the decal sheets, you had Team AMT, and you had a lot of little white pinstripes uh, and um, some pinstriping. You had a, I think that's a Michigan tag. Uh, and that was it in the decals. But let's review these instructions in this real quick. It was a service trailer, but it could also be made, uh, and this was optional with uh, a single tie rack and just old school and you see the the blister type fenders on it and it had your ramps and um, pretty simple not a lot of parts oh and it also came with your for a truck let me get that out of the way so you can see it uh, for your chains and a tow hitch so you put that on your truck or I guess you could modify that down a little bit for a car or something like that. But uh, for something like this, you're usually going to see it on a truck. And with that new uh, release of the AMT Dually, too, pretty good. Uh, but let's get over here. Pretty simple. Like I said, not a lot of parts, but uh, a respectable little trailer. You had your uh, tread plate and your ramps, your chains, all that kind of stuff. The uh, tail light places and then the license plates. Um, and of course, again, your optional um, rock shield, as they call it there, the rock shield, and uh, and the tire rack. So a pretty pretty simple kit overall. And again, not a lot of parts. And let's take a look. At what I didn't use uh, on my. By the way, this thing comes with some. Fairly nicely uh, chrome wheels. If you can see that. And rubber tires. And you've got the little backing plate that goes on it to hold that on. Uh, your ramps. And of course, I did not use the tire rack or the. Uh, the shield on this one but uh, overall it's really not a bad trailer and uh, if you remember and if you want to see how I did what I did to mine now this is this is it let me get that out of the way this is the petty trailer that I converted it over to and you see to use these axles I had to cut away these little blisters that went over the tires because the Petty Enterprise trailer, as you see in this picture, had the long single fender over the tires. And you can go back and look at one of the uh, videos. I think it was the second or third one on the 70 Roadrunner build when I was doing this trailer. Um, how I did the fenders and all that stuff. Um, and I also added a piece of 40 thousandths sheet plastic down the center because normally these things are open and uh, I added that because the pictures of the uh, the Petty Enterprise trailer had that center piece of metal in there. And you've got your little place for the ramps. 
There's your tail lights. And this one did not have an option of having this up or down, but you could, uh, as far as in a, in a freestanding, um, the jack handle, but you, you could make a piece in there. It's no big deal. And again, you see where I had to cut the, uh, to use those axles, I had to cut the, uh, these little, I call them blisters, but these little fender things away that went over the tires. But it builds into a really respectable trailer, and uh, uh, I like it. I like it. It was pretty good. But I've been really excited about Wes's trailer ever since. Uh, he We did the interview at the Carolina Custom Modeler Show last month and got a, a close-up look at it. And let me tell you, I am excited about this thing because it's more modern. But he had a uh, one of the new modifieds displayed on it. Um, had one a mock-up already done, and he was saying it was going to be out into the month. And here, ah, here mine is, and it is in 25th scale. And as I was just saying, you can do this in the standalone or in the tow position, with or without the tire rack. This one has the double tire rack, which is more accurate, even in old school stuff. Um, but this has a lot of stuff that the, uh, the old AMT does not have. You've got a lot of really cool stuff. Um, well, we'll look at the decals once we get into it. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get this thing cut open. And, um, I already know pretty much what I'm going to be putting on this one when it's finished <laughs> just the way I displayed the, uh, the petty car on it but uh, I've got a modified in mind down the road too but I I'm probably gonna pick up about two more of these for some other projects but there's a few other little nifty things in here that we want to get into oh wow these really look good I like these tires better already than the AMT um, Oh yeah, look at that. Soft rubber. Check out that tread. I don't, I don't know. Well, to, well, from where I am, the lighting is not all that great, so let me move this down a little bit. Get it into the light a little bit better anyway. Oh yeah, much better. Oh, I like these. Yeah, these are awesome. The AMT were just the, really not really any pattern to them as you see, it just kind of a, just a straight lines. Um, get into the trailer itself. Let's get these instructions out too real quick. Uh, you got your tools you'll, you're needing. And I'll tell you what, before we look at the instructions, let's take a look at these. Oh, you got all the reflectors on here. The tail lights. Oh, you got all kinds of cool stuff on here Wes's model car corner if you remember this picture of Wes's truck when it was at CKM and oh the license plates go racing go dragon so you can put a drag car on here <laughs> good thinking there Wes and then a personalized Wes's model car corner 05 uh, license plate isn't that cool very cool. Uh, again, you've got uh, your tools needed. And let's get this out of the way so we can get down here and see this a little better. Um, and photo instructions instead of drawings, which I always like those better. Your axles, step-by-step -step assembly, and it is numbered. And the thing I liked about this when we were looking at it um, at the show was the fenders are molded onto the frame. And he was explaining that in shipping, that kept a lot of stuff from getting damaged, too, which makes a lot of sense. Check it out. And then there's your optional double tire rack, which I really like that. Very cool. And the other thing I liked about this was it had the wheel chocks that you could set to different lengths. So if you're towing um, 
a junker or a, a small car or something like that. Oh, I like this. So let's get into the bag here of uh, bag oh goody. Oh, it's already open. All right. I'm going to move this back up, guys, so we can get a better look. And I'm going to move this one out of the way while we're looking at it. Okay, there's part of the tire racks. Now, check out the two. There's one of the axles there. The other. There's your rear lights. And by the way, you see, we did not get a look at this up close, but you see right here, this is the back. There's your reflectors in the back. But you also have right here where the ramps that you go up onto the trailer, they slide up into, um, well, underneath the tread plate where the car is sitting, they slide and lock up in there, which I really like that, which I think that's like a lot of the modern real trailers do. And the other thing I like about this is if you uh, wanted to make that, fender well like I made had to make for my trailer uh, all you would have to do is cut straight across right there and there you would pretty much have the same trailer uh, so instead of having to scratch build all the stuff that I did um, you can modify that and you'll have it but I like this and you know what let's do real quick these are both 25th scale I want to do a quick measurement I'd break the dial caliper out, but I'm not going to do that. Let's see. Actually, Wes's is just a touch wider than this. Um, not much, but just a little. Well, I don't know if you put it up like that. It doesn't necessarily look like it, but I'm, I'm thinking about where the tread plate is. I like my weathering job on that, too. Um, very nice. Let's get over here and take a look at the, uh, the diamond pattern on the ramps. The suspension. I like this. As this is individual. And the uh, stone guard and it's got molded on and again you've got the decals for these reflectors and they're molded in so you know your exact location and here are your ramps and these are wide enough as you saw in, in the pictures where Wes here has a modified sitting on it the width is perfect for this that is just cool and then here is, well, here's the hand crank for the end toe, or you see how long that one is, uh, for the standalone. There's your wheel chocks. License plate with the, the light over it. There's your tail lights, wheels and wheel backs. And again, it's not overcomplicated, not too many uh, parts. This is great. This is great. Uh, I really look forward to, to getting into one of these things, too. Um, Wes knocked it out of the ballpark, buddy. So, guys, we have a new trailer in the house, and I think it is awesome. Um, I look forward to getting one of these together. Why am I putting that back in there? It's not going in there. Here, I'll put that over there. Cool. All right, I've been I've been a little jazzed about that, guys. You can't tell. Um, but I have to make sure I put the instro. Uh, yeah, the uh, decals back in there too. Um, I've been a little jacked up about that too when I knew it was coming. Okay, guys, that's it. Appreciate you sticking around for this one and taking a look. If you haven't picked up one of these, head over to Wes's Model Car Corner, scoop you up one. Be sure you head over to Hobby Nut Models, check out Mark's inventory, find you something to put on it. <laughs> um, but I, I think you're really going to enjoy this trailer. I, I'm liking it already. 
Uh, accessories like this are always make a display. They really do. All right, guys. God loves you. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.